Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Microwave Me. Today, Captain Microwave is going to be attempting to do something that you're not supposed to do. Cook Jiffy Pop in a microwave. It says right on the warnings, do not cook in the microwave. Challenge accepted. Another microwave show attempted to microwave Jiffy Pop, but they failed, possibly because it was not left in long enough. However, I plan on microwaving the Jiffy Pop until it pops. So, let's get microwaving. And it's going to be done in Proctor Silex Microwave Lindsay. She's been through hell and back twice and lived to tell about it. Now let's place the Jiffy Pop into the microwave like so. Oh boy, it's a much more snug fit than their microwave. Hopefully that doesn't completely ruin what I'm after here. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Okay, how long do you usually cook popcorn? Four minutes.
Okay. It's quite obvious that other than an awesome light show, that really did nothing. And then now I'm like popping that Jiffy Pop into delicious popcorn. So I'll remove the top. I took the plate out and the tin foil covering off of the Jiffy Pop because I really want to see the Jiffy Pop go off. I'm after popcorn here, not a light show. Although if I do get popcorn in a light show, it'll be a wonderful bonus. And now for the piece de resistance. I'm going to prove that you actually can cook Jiffy Pop in a microwave.
Right, I think that's about as much as it's going to do. I think all the Jiffy Pot got popped. That's exactly what I was looking to do. Alright, now let's examine the post product using the precision spatula to remove the Jiffy Pot pan. which looks pretty fried in some spots, but in otherwise, not that bad a condition. The microwave itself doesn't look too harmed from all the plasma shooting. Of course, all the popcorn didn't pop, but that's natural. That even happens in bagged microwave popcorn. Most of it, however, did pop. Now, time for a taste test. How does microwave Jiffy Pot taste?
Not bad. Although it is kind of a flashlight, light bulb, and light up space alien toy aftertaste with a hint of soap, but it's not the popcorn's fault. It's the microwave's fault. Or actually, it's Captain Microwave's fault. Perhaps I should walk the plank for. <laughs> yeah, and those flavors of popcorn. Now, I'm going to have to say that this is a good idea. Even though you don't pop all the popcorn, the popcorn is delicious. It is popped. And this proves that if you're patient enough and if you know what you're doing, I mean removing the foil and the lead, the do not microwave thing becomes merely a suggestion. Now that a great shackle has been removed, a big burden, the society has finally been put to rest and a big myth has been busted that you can't cook Jiffy Pop in the microwave. This proves, yes you can if you do it right. So I'm going to have to say bad idea to leaving the top on just like cooking Hot Pockets in a box would be. But good idea to cooking it with the lid and the foil off. This may be surprising but this is indeed the kind of result that is a good idea.